All individuals appearing in this short documentary are on different levels of the autism spectrum. Some are still in the process of being evaluated. Have you ever come across someone who didn't make direct eye contact towards you when speaking to them? Have you ever come across someone who kept fidgeting with their hands? Then this video is for you. My name is Albert Amador Jr. I am 19 years old and I am on the spectrum. I am making this video to spread awareness for youths like me on the autism spectrum. Hopefully this video will help others understand our strengths and challenges. Autism, a broad range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, speech, and nonverbal communication. But there's not one way autism just shows up. It's a spectrum. There are three levels of autism spectrum disorder. One of the noticeable issues in the first level of autism is communication and socializing with others. Individuals can usually have a conversation, but it might be difficult to maintain a back and forth banter. Individuals can maintain a high quality of life with little support. The second level of autism requires substantial support in verbal and nonverbal communication skills. Individuals struggle with change to routines and adapting. Individuals use simple sentences and have a narrow interest. Individuals may still struggle even with support because they have a hard time adjusting. The third level is the most severe level of autism. These individuals require very substantial support because they demonstrate distress or difficulty focusing or changing attention. They lack verbal communication and present repetitive and restrictive behavior. Individuals at this level may need a caregiver to help them learn basic skills that will allow them to be successful in school, at home, or at work. How do I know this? At a very young age, I was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, behavioral and social issues, and cognitive and language delays. Throughout my whole life, I've been attending therapy of different types, taken medication, and have struggled with learning and social skills in school. My struggles have made me question many abilities, but have also pushed me to learn more about myself. The purpose of this project is to help others on the autism spectrum feel connected. I want people to understand that we are more similar than different. We learn and think differently. We like to be included, but we also like our space. It may take us a bit more time to be part of a social group. We are abled individuals disabled by our environments. To help youths feel connected, I talked with my friend Ronan about what it's like to be on the spectrum. My name is Ronan and I am 15 years old and I was diagnosed with autism at three years old. I am very good at remembering details, but my weakness is trying to understand people and what they think. Sometimes people think that I'm not paying attention when I am paying attention, or they think I'm being rude when I'm not being rude. When I hear the word autism, what comes to my mind is it makes me feel confused because there are a couple of challenges about my autism. I think about how much my mom and dad love me. No, that's because I have the capability of having autism and it's my personality that I have given a special gift. When people call me autistic, I feel like that it represents who I am and it also feels like that they're calling that I am, that it never bothers me and it, and it explains about who I am. But on the other side, when people call me autism, or autistic in a mean way, it makes me feel like that, that I have disadvantages and there is something wrong with me. Someone who's, who's not on the spectrum can make me feel included if they make me a part of their conversations. Like if they work together to put up a group and then I can join in the conversation so that way I can be welcomed and a part of the conversation and the group. Here are some facts about autism. According to the CDC, individuals with autism spectrum disorder, or ASD to put it short, may experience changes in their symptoms and behaviors during adolescence and young adulthood, such as impairment in communication. Teenagers and young adults on the spectrum have limited opportunity for community or social activities. Almost 40% spend little or no time interacting with their peers. I feel we are trailblazing a topic that needs to be talked about more with other young people our age. I believe it's very important for youths with autism to be aware of resources and to join a support group. I know for a fact that when we mainstream with the general population, not only do we feel included, but we can educate others about our strengths and challenges.